Die Another Day. Among Bond fans, it is infamously known as the one with the overload of CGI, the invisible car, the kite surfing on the tsunami, and the terrible dialogue. Your mama. But it was also the Bond movie celebrating its 40 year anniversary back in 2002. And just like I previously did a video of how No Time to Die referenced all Bond movies in one shape or form, Die Another Day did it first. So we're going to be looking at how Die Another Day referenced all Bond movies. Or, well, at least all Bond movies up until that point. Of course, we're starting off with the most obvious reference of all, with Halle Berry as Jinx emerging from the ocean in a clear homage to Honey Rider. And they included the knife strapped to her hip, just like the original. But a much more subtle reference to Dr. No, did you ever notice the gun barrel noise at the beginning of Dr. No is also heard during Bond's escape from the MI6 ship? Thanks for the kiss of life. The famous scene that is often used as the definitive audition scene for new Bond actors in From Russia With Love features a line that is homaged in Die Another Day. My friends call me Tanya. Mine call me James Bond. My friends call me Jinx. My friends call me James Bond. The Spectre agent secretly filming the lovemaking behind the mirror is of course also there in Die Another Day's hotel room. Q's lab will be featured often in this video and is full of references to past Bond films and from Russia with Love's Atachi case and Rosa Klepp's poison tipped shoe are among these. Bond revealing a perfectly dry suit after emerging from the water in a wetsuit is a clear homage to Goldfinger, as of course is the famous laser scene, almost killing Bond, in Die Another Day's case, it was almost Jinx. In both films, Bond makes use of his Aston Martin's ejector seat feature, and Q's famous line also gets an homage. Ejector seat, you're joking. I never joke about my work, 007. You must be joking. As I learned from my predecessor, Bond, I never joke about my work. Speaking of Q, did you ever notice the subtle placement of the golden bars on the top shelf? And of course, both main villains are sucked out of an open airplane. A cool reference to Thunderball is Bond going through a medical clinic picking up some grapes along his way, as well as Bond using the breeding apparatus to make a long swim underwater. Lastly, back in Q's lab, Thunderball's jetpack is prominently featured. You Only Live Twice features Bond changing his appearance to an Asian man, while Die Another Day features the opposite with an Asian man literally changing his ethnicity to a Caucasian man. On Her Majesty's Secret Service and Die Another Day both feature the rare occurrence of seeing Bond alone in his own office. In both movies, Bond enters an hotel and is quickly recognized by the manager, ordering the staff around in their native languages. <laughs> Commander Bond, how are you, sir? Fine, good to see you, Manuel. Can you enter the kid to say Mr. Bond, so good to see you. It's been a long time. Mr. Chang. Tong, 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 tong. Also, and it's really hard to mention these two in the same vein, but in both instances, Bond narrowly escapes a dangerous avalanche. Although, of course, we all know in Die Another Day, his way of escape was a bit more extravagant. As Bond is on his way back to London in the plane, the movie title Diamonds Are Forever can be seen at the bottom of the magazine. Of course, diamonds are prominently featured in the plot of Die Another Day too, as is the villain scheme of using a weaponized satellite to attack the Earth. 
Gustav Graves' office in the villain lair also is a clear homage to Cat Adams' film set for Blofeld's villain lair office. Live and Let Die and Die Another Day are two movies in which Bond is prominently seen smoking a cigar. The poppy fields exploding also are very similar in the way the minefields are exploding in the climax. The rotating mirrors in the clinic are a homage to Scaramanga's villain lair in The Man with the Golden Gun. Though the laser satellite itself is very similar to the satellite in Diamonds, the harnessing of solar power concentrated into a laser beam is similar to Scaramanga's use of the Solex agitator. Probably second to Honey Rider's reference, the most obvious one is the Union Jack parachute used by Gustav Graves, much like Bond did in the pre-title sequence of The Spy Who Loved Me. The sword fight between Bond and Gustav Graves is very similar to the sword fight between Bond and Random Samurai Dude in Moonraker, and both films also feature a villain falling down a waterfall, both surviving it too. Another film set homage that at the very least seems very similar to Ken Adams' film set in Moonraker. I'm not sure that this was an intentional homage, but the inspiration sure seems to be there. Both For Your Eyes Only and Die Another Day feature Bond hanging down a cliff with pretty much nothing but a rope. Also, the yellow diving helmet is among some of the many objects barely visible in the background of Q's lab. A lot of Octopussy's gadgets are referenced in Q's lab too, including the Actrostar mini jet, the crocodile submarine, and the magic rope. But Jinx dropping down into the sea seems to mirror Magda's balcony jump as well. Sticking with Q's lab, Q's robot cat can immediately be spotted as Bond enters the lab. Both films feature Bond's cover being blown by facial recognition software. And both films also feature a villain's goon clumsily falling off a snowmobile. The establishing shot straight after the gun barrel is strikingly similar to the one in The Living Daylights. In both films, Bond's Aston Martin has the feature of snow spikes appearing from the tires. And the most obvious homage is Bond escaping a doomed plane through the exit ramp in a vehicle. In License to Kill, Bond gets his license revoked and goes rogue. This plot point was again used in Die Another Day. Bond's laser watch from GoldenEye reappears. Though, if you want to be cynical, originally the first appearance of a laser watch in the series was actually in Never Say Never Again. Though this was not Eon produced and it's not part of the official series, I always had a feeling that in GoldenEye they took inspiration from Never Say Never Again. The way in which Zhao is killed with the chandelier falling on top of him seems to mirror the death of Alec Trevelyan. I don't know what it is with Tomorrow Never Dies and the Navy ship firing the rockets as that was also my reference that No Time To Die uses for Tomorrow Never Dies, but here they actually reuse the same footage for Die Another Day. Also, both movies feature Bond rotating in a vehicle while firing a weapon, taking out all and everything surrounding him. Also, both of Bond's gadget-laden cars are remote-controlled and feature a computerized female voice. Welcome. Please fasten seatbelt and obey all instructions for a safe trip. Adaptive camouflage restored. And although this is more of a reference to the novels than it is to Tomorrow Never Dies, the character of Bond is known to be sleeping with a gun under his pillow. Tell me, James, do you still sleep with a gun under your pillow? This was, of course, also shown to be a character trait in Die Another Day. Both The World Is Not Enough and Die Another Day feature Bond trusting a woman he ends up sleeping with, who turns out to be a baddie. He ends up killing Elektra in cold blood in The World Is Not Enough and was fully ready to do so again in similar fashion in Die Another Day if it wasn't for Miranda emptying his gun because of the gun under his pillow. 
How cool would that cold blood of kill have been though? But just like No Time to Die, Die Another Day also referenced itself. A new watch, um, this will be your 20th I believe. How time flies. Obviously the movies coming after Die Another Day can't be referenced because they weren't made yet. Though if you look hard enough I'm sure you could find similarities with Craig's films as well. Of course Die Another Day does get referenced in No Time to Die with the Delectado cigar. I'm here to pick up some Delectados. Delectados? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Please like and subscribe and if you want to go the extra mile, you can take a look at my Patreon page and enjoy various channel perks such as access to my community's Discord server, early access to my videos and much more fun bonuses. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next video.